Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be making chicken meatballs today and this is something that I've been playing around with for a little while, wanting to make food videos. So the, I thought I would try it this way and I'll play around and you guys give me feedback and tell me uh, what you guys think. The first recipe is going to involve meat so I apologize if, you, if that makes you kind of squeamish. But in here we have, we're going to get started right now, in here we have one pound of ground chicken and one pound of ground turkey now the original recipe does call for two pounds of ground chicken but this is what i have and then next i am going to add an egg just crack it and then we have one cup of panko breadcrumbs. Now I did get mine from Amazon and what I did was, because I wanted super fine, I put it in a blender, but you do not have to do that. And then next is Parmesan cheese. Olive oil, which it says to use two tablespoons of olive oil. I had everything else prepared. I didn't realize that I would need olive oil. So that's one and two. Then the recipe says garlic and I'm going to press that right now because I, to be honest, I ran out of teaspoons. And I love this garlic press from Ikea. If you ever see this, it's fantastic. You just go like that. And then I like to take a fork or some type of, I have a small teaspoon here. So I'm just going to scrape. And what I like to do is lift it up, get the rest of the garlic, because we love garlic in this family. So I'm going to just get all the garlic that I can. And sorry the lighting is so terrible. This kitchen is very old and the lighting in here is not that great. We have salt. It calls for a teaspoon of salt. Oh, I'm sorry, so that was a cup of panko breadcrumbs, a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese, we did the two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of salt, and I added a little less because I feel like the Parmesan cheese has, it's pretty salty. One and a half teaspoon of pepper. One teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning and has stuff like basil and oregano. And then that's it. What we're, what I recommend doing and I'll do this off camera so that it's not gross is I'm going to mix by hand and roll them into little balls and I'll show you what they look like next step would be to spray oh, get a cookie sheet and then put foil on top and spray it with cooking spray and I have uh, this one in my kitchen it's a Kirkland brand canola oil cooking spray and I started rolling up some meatballs and I take about this much so you can see here and then I just start rolling it and I don't I don't I mean as long as they're about the same size I'm not too concerned so I'm gonna make these line them up and then you'll see me again when I put them in the oven I was able to make about 27 meatballs not about it's exactly 27 I counted and they're all pretty much uniform in size. Maybe these three are a little bit big. And I know I had mentioned earlier, I really don't care about the size, but you do want them to be somewhat uniform just because if one is bigger or smaller, they're gonna cook differently. So they're all about the same size. And I'm gonna put them in the oven now. Here we are at the oven. I do have to go downstairs to the basement just because that's where my oven is for now. You set the oven to 400 degrees and you are going to cook these meatballs for about 
20 minutes. I'll come back in 15 minutes just to check on them. This oven, I'm still, it's new, so I'm still trying to figure out timing and temperature wise. Um, yeah, so I will set the timer. Okay, here we go. I heard the alarm go off, and so I'm gonna take a look. So they don't, oops, sorry, the timer. They don't look done to me. They look almost done. So I'm gonna leave them in for another five minutes, and then we'll come back. Here are the meatballs five minutes later. They are definitely done baking. I checked the temperature. This side, for some reason, got more color than this side. I'm going to do a taste test on camera. They smell really good, so that's a good thing, but I'm wondering if they got too dry. Before I actually taste this, I wanted to show you the inside. Okay, here I am I'm about to try the meatball. Mmm. Yeah. It's quite tasty. The outer layer is kind of crunchy and the inside, it's not too dry. I think I might have went one to two minutes over the time and it was within the 20 minutes that the recipe calls for. I should have probably taken them out at the 15 minutes. I just get nervous about cooking chicken and making sure that it's fully cooked, but then you run into the risk of it drying. So while it's a little dry, it still tastes really good. I'm going to serve mine tonight with some pasta and tomato sauce, kind of like a take on spaghetti and meatball, or spaghetti and meatballs. And these are, these are really tasty. I would definitely make these again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please send me recipes of your favorite meals, whether it be vegan, vegetarian, meat. I love it all, and I'm always looking for new recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.